hydraulic motor experiment. Say I have already connected this hydraulic motor like you have done for the cylinders. Make sure you secure this with these bands, um, with these nuts and at least use two of them. So they are secured. I also connected a four-way directional valve with that. So I can basically change the flow. So this hydraulic motor, the way basically work or any hydraulic motor, get the pressurized fluid from one direction, do the work, rotate this and then go out um, the fluid goes out from the other direction um, so we can measure the rpm of the movement of this piece also using this um, a tachometer and then we have something to measure the weight we can hold it here the other way like this more kind of like a, um, a fish scale then we can measure the weight so we know the torque, we know the force or weight that we have measured. So um, then we can uh, convert that to hydraulic horsepower, the amount of horsepower transfer. We can show it right now. So now we're going to show how to how to get the RPM. So somebody must be holding this. Yes. So this is yeah. You must hold this, otherwise it will be a dangerous situation. So. Um, as you can see here, it's reading about uh, 35 RPM. So we know the RPM now, the rate per minute. Then we can measure this uh, force, and we're not changing the tension here. So once we get the force, we can convert that to torque. We know the distance, and that's the force. So here, you can go and operate we connected it. that. So. You can see the force here. So we have the force, we have the RPM. So from the force, uh, we can convert it to torque. And then, so from this force times the distance, that will give us the torque times the RPM and divide some constant will give us the hydraulic horsepower transferred by this hydraulic motor.